Okay, in the series AP Calculus Limits, don't miss the obvious. Uh, just want to talk quickly about removable discontinuities. Look at this for a second. We have this, find the limit of x minus 5 over x squared minus 25 as x goes to 5. First thing I want to remind you always is try the limit, see if it exists. So 5 squared is 25, 25 minus 25 is 0. But something interesting happens here. When I try this limit, I get 0 over 0, which should be a clue to you. This is called the indeterminate form. Indeterminate. And if it's the indeterminate form, it usually means that there's a factor that they share. So what I'm going to do is just do a little bit of algebra here and say, okay, I want the limit as x approaches 5 of x minus 5 over, and look, I see this, this is difference of squares, isn't it? So this is x minus 5 times x plus 5. So what we really have here is we have a whole at x equals 5. Now we can remove that discontinuity and we can reevaluate this as x approaches 5. This is also an approach, an arrow, right? of 1 over x plus 5. Somebody out there is going, what, what in the hell happened to this? x minus 5, these are factors, x minus 5 over x minus 5 is 1, isn't it? So they cross out and give us 1 over this. Now we can evaluate. Now evaluate f of 5, and we will get 1 over 5 plus 5, also known as 1 over 10 is the limit. All right? You want to do one more? We'll do one more quickly. Let's see if we can do one more. Let's do one more right here. See if you can figure this one out. So let's take the limit as x approaches 1 of x squared plus x minus 2 all over x squared minus 1 first thing I did was I tried the limit. So I applied this and I got 0 over 0. We remember this is called the indeterminate form, right? Indeterminate form, technically speaking. So it means that there's probably a factor somewhere. So I'm going to factor this top piece out and it factors to x plus 2 times x minus 1, and if you foil this back together, you'll get this back, won't you? And hopefully you recognize this bottom part is difference of squares. So that's x plus 1 times x minus 1. So all I'm doing is rewriting my f of x. I'm going to cancel these two out. First, I'm going to tell my reader that there's a whole at x is equal to 1. And from there, I can just evaluate f of 1, which would be, so f of 1 now is 1 plus 2 over 1 plus 1, which is equal to 3 halves, and there's our limit. All right? All right, you guys, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, uh, and remember that your comments are always welcome. If you share my video, that makes me really happy, so thanks for all your support.